What does it mean if your urine is red or orange or green or any other color on the spectrum of the rainbow? I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today we're gonna go over what your urine color means and if that means you should go see a doctor right away. As a background, urine is 95% made up of water. The other 5% is made up of metabolites and minerals like sodium, chloride, and in fact, the thing that makes your urine yellow is a product called urobilin, and this is actually a breakdown product of our red blood cells. And so it's very normal to have yellow urine. And the color that you should be aiming for is light pale yellow. And that usually means that you're drinking enough fluid and your body is not dehydrated and not overhydrated. If it becomes clear or transparent, then it may be a sign that you are over drinking too much. And in some cases, if this happens, it's probably not a big deal. But if it continues to be a persistent problem, it could mean that you're having overhydration. And in this case, that may actually cause imbalances in your body and you could have danger dangerous things like hyponatremia. And hyponatremia is essentially a sign that there's too low sodium in your body. This can cause symptoms like nausea, vomiting, confusion, or an altered mental state. This is very rare, but if it does happen, it could be a sign that you're drinking too much. In fact, there have been some reports of marathon runners who've overhydrated during marathons and subsequently developed hyponatremia, and they started having these symptoms. And when they took their blood to check, they found that actually their sodium levels were too low. If you have dark yellow urine or amber looking urine, it could be a sign that you're not drinking enough. If you're not drinking enough, usually your urine becomes dark because your body is essentially regulating how much you're drinking and trying to conserve fluid inside the body rather than peeing it out. So that's not necessarily a dangerous thing. However, that dark yellow urine can actually irritate the bladder lining and cause you to have an urge to urinate more frequently and feel this sudden desire to urinate that you can't delay that can become quite bothersome. So again, it's always really great to keep your urine a light yellow color. The next thing that is kind of close to yellow would be orange urine. And why do you get orange urine? Well, it could actually be from what you're eating. So if you're eating a lot of foods with beta carotene, like carrots, for example, it can actually turn your urine orange. Certain medications like peridium or over-the-counter azo can also turn your urine orange. In fact, even certain over-the-counter medications, for example, Senna, which is a common medication used for constipation, can turn your urine orange as well. Most of the time, orange urine will clear itself once the medication's out of the system or you've stopped eating the food. If, however, you have persistent orange urine and you've drank lots of fluid and you've cleared out whatever you're doing that could have caused orange urine, then it's important to see your doctor because it could be a sign of other problems in your body like those of the liver or the bile duct. So brown colored urine, or urine that looks like Coca-Cola. So the most common times that we see this are in people who have over-exercised and developed a condition called rhabdomyolysis. In this case, when you over-exercise, the actual muscle breaks down too quickly and it causes symptoms of muscle weakness, pain, nausea, vomiting, and overall feeling really, really unwell. Typically, you will know that you're not feeling great or you've done a really strenuous exercise like ran a marathon or did a CrossFit activity or something extremely strenuous, in which case you'll find that you're having lots of pain and you should go to the emergency room. This can also be seen with certain kinds of medications as well as certain kinds of infections. So the important thing, however, is if you see this brown urine and you're not sure, it's really important to go to the ER and make sure you get your blood test because if you leave rhabdomyolysis untreated, it can lead to kidney disease. Also, you can have brown urine if you overdosed on Tylenol, or it could be a sign of liver or kidney disease, or even a sign that you had blood in your urine that's now old. So it's really important, again, if you're having brown urine, to go see a doctor, talk about it, and get it checked out. A couple other things you might see in the spectrum of yellow, orange, brown is having cloudy or foamy urine. Cloudy urine can be a sign of a urinary tract infection, but if you're not having any symptoms of pain with urination or having the feeling of having to go more often than usual or more frequently than usual, or having, for example, blood in the urine, in which case it's very possible that you don't actually have a urinary tract infection or you have a slight infection that can just clear up with drinking lots of fluids. The first thing I tell all my patients to do is drink lots of fluids and try to clear out that cloudy urine. Getting antibiotics for a sole symptom of cloudy or smelly urine, for that example, is actually going to hurt you in the long run. If you want to learn more about this, check out my video about smelly urine and foamy urine. So I hear about this a lot and actually 
the most common cause of foamy urine is having a really strong stream. So if you've been holding it for a long time and you get to the bathroom and you finally get there and you pee really, really fast because you've been holding it for so long, then you can see bubbles in the toilet, which is just essentially a sign of how fast or the velocity of the urine. However, if it persists and you're not really having fast urine, then it could be a sign of something like a fistula, which is a connection between the colon or small bowel and the bladder where gas could be getting into the bladder, or it could be a sign of protein in the urine. In those cases, it's really important to see your doctor and get it checked out. Okay, and before we get to red urine, I wanna address a kind of weird color urine, green or bluish urine. So interestingly, we often, when you have a urologic procedure, can make your urine green or blue. And this is sometimes done in urologic surgery so that we can see urine coming out of the tubes that drain the kidneys in the bladder. And so we'll give medications that will actually turn your urine either a kind of a neon green or a dark blue color. And so don't be alarmed if you have a urologic surgery and you then see your urine looking those colors. It can be due to certain types of medication. One of the medications that we prescribe for patients sometimes is called Urabel and that can turn urine blue. It's often prescribed for people who have symptoms of bladder pain. Also amitriptyline, which is an antidepressant medication, can sometimes turn your urine different colors, as well as propofol, which is a medication given to patients during anesthesia. And occasionally eating things like asparagus can make your urine a little bit green tinged as well. However, more commonly, you'll have that very characteristic smell of urine after you eat asparagus. And lastly, why is your urine red and what exactly does that mean? So red urine can be a number of different things. Sometimes eating things like beets and rhubarb can turn your urine a little bit pinkish in color. Also, certain antibiotics can turn your urine red color as well. Usually, if you're prescribed one of these medications, your doctor will tell you that, hey, you might notice that your urine or even your tears are sometimes red. But the real important thing to rule out if you see red in your urine is blood. The real reason to get this checked out is because it can be a sign of something wrong in the urinary tract. And by that, I mean the kidneys, which create urine, the ureters, which drain urine into the bladder, and the bladder itself, or the tube draining urine from the bladder to the outside world. And in men's case, a prostate gland, which sits around the urethra or the P-tube where urine comes out. So having blood in the urine can signal a problem in any of these areas. 85% of the time, we don't find a discrete reason for the blood in the urine. In men, very often it's due to an enlarged prostate. And in women, we suspect if you're over 65, it may be due to having what we call vaginal atrophy, which is actually the thinning of the vaginal skin, which can create very small little bits of bleeding when it has any sort of trauma occurring to it, or even with having sex. This is actually very easily treatable with vaginal estrogen. So make sure you talk to your doctor about that if you're having issues. And if you have an enlarged prostate that's causing you issues with urinary symptoms, make sure you check out my video about enlarged prostate and what you can do about it. But the important things we need to rule out are any tumors in the kidney, any stones in the kidney which could cause infection, or stones in the tubes that drain the kidney, as well as tumors in the bladder itself. The way we do this at the urologist's office is with a cystoscopy. So a cystoscopy is a procedure where we take a small camera and we go in the bladder and we look around to make sure there are no tumors. A lot of people wonder like, why can't you just get a scan or an image to show if there are any tumors? Well, if you think about the bladder, it's like a balloon. And so at any point in time, the bladder might be a little bit empty or not completely full. And so you can't kind of differentiate between folds in the bladder and actual tumors or abnormalities. Also, we usually get a CAT scan or a CT scan with contrast to look at the kidneys as well as the tubes that drain the kidneys called the ureters. So it's really important if you see red urine to go see your doctor and find out if there is any blood in the urine itself to just rule out anything dangerous. Again, 85% of the time we don't find anything dangerous and very infrequently do we find a cancer or something, you know, really life changing. And so it's really important to get tested, get checked out and just make sure you are safe because if there is something dangerous, we want to catch it early before it becomes a problem. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it. If you are enjoying this channel, please make sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank <laughs> you.